Welcome back, everyone, to Elder Scrolls Online. Today we're back here, going to take out some raiders or something like that, I think. But first, we actually have something we need to open up first. Got a nice little crate here. Okay. Monochrome, die stamp, light, dark light. Huh. Some crown poison. And then I also got a new moon guar. Okay. Farewell, my good friend. So I can go ahead and uh Well huh. Um Can I preview that? I don't think I want to actually use that at the moment, so we'll go ahead and leave that alone. <laughs> Do we have any... Yeah, we've got some fortifying meal here. Any other things that are taking up space, though? That's the question. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of the pies. And now uh, we do have some uh, other stuff in here. Oh yeah, we got that. Go ahead and... Let's see, where is it? Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, pull that out. Let it go ahead and hang out here. Looks pretty neat. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and make our way over here and start beating some people up. Over there! Boy, there's a lot of people here. Alright, so this is a good number of these guys down immediately. <laughs> oh, there's one more, okay. Oh, we got the manifest, okay. Take that. House of Troubles. Lore book gotten. Uh. Who's attacking me? Oh, you're attacking me, okay. Grab this crate here, why not? Don't I have another quest here? Oh, yeah, it's this one, okay.
Oh, you suck up right on me, didn't you? I guess the person I have to talk to is over this way. could have gone well f further well for you couldn't it <laughs> okay there's two of them over here so may as well And everyone's down. Just need one more crate here somewhere. <coughs> Ooh, wood. Okay, looks like we made it back. Oh, there's a sky shard over here. Are you going to add to my problems? Go ahead and grab this. We got another skill point for our trouble. Nice. You're back. Any luck finding my cargo? This this is very nearly everything. I can't believe it. My employer might even be lenient. You saved me. You didn't have to help, but you did. Thank you. Oh, happy to help. <laughs> when I saw those Dress Raiders closing in, I thought we were done for. But you sure sliced a path through them. Maybe you can help me figure out what those fetches are up to. Ha! That explains why the constructs turned on the raiders. I saw someone in Dres livery enter the ruins. He was fiddling with some kind of relic. I'd wager he's Ethis Omelor, the leader of this raiding party. I'm not above giving the Dres some payback for the damage they've caused. I need to clean up out here. But I want that Omelor fetcher who ran inside. Feel like doing some hunting? All right, let's go ahead and find this guy. I need help. Yeah, nothing worthwhile in there. Ooh, we're going into some dwarven ruins. My favorite. <laughs> some help. You there. Did Mayra send you? I discovered this resonating thing on one of the smashed constructs. I think these resonators are how that Drez rod controlled them. Not as much as I'd like, but I think the constructs received their orders from the rod through those resonators. The spheres cannibalized dead spiders for parts. What if we interfered with that process? Exactly. So if you smash any spheres or spiders, take their resonators, you can bring them to me for study. While you're at it, destroy any repair stations you see. Then they can't make more resonators, all right? Sounds a good plan so far. Oh, 
Hello there. Looks like we're coming up on some stuff here. against the wall. Guess somebody must have ran out when I was fighting, because <laughs> NPC is like running off somewhere. Let's see here. Got some fighters here. And that downs everybody. see anybody here. Oh, there they are. Okay. You were right behind them, huh? Yeah, let's go ahead and hit these guys. Go ahead and get a resonator or two. Looks like one of them is this way. Maybe it's a little clearer path. I missed that hit. Yeah, we'll talk to you in a moment, buddy. walks instead of rolls. Come on, let's get out of here. What? Oh, yes, of course. I... Wait, the blasted yacht with the caravan, aren't you? Look, I know when I'm backed into a corner. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Just help me get out of here alive. I did what I was told. Magistrate Fox gives orders, not reasons. 
She supplied the rod to control the constructs, but it malfunctioned during the ambush. After that, the spiders attacked everything. I ran for it and hid down here. From the sound of it, my raiders got caught between the Khlalu and the spiders. You're going to get me out of here, right? Yeah, I guess we'll turn him over to the people outside. Fine by me. Better them than these walking buzzsaws. Lead the way. First, though, we still have to fight some more of these guys, so, uh... May as well go find where that last repair station is. Oh, there's something fighting up ahead. Must be, like, right around here. Ah, uh, yep, there it is. We got more spiders, nice. Seem to be a little bit stronger than the uh, spiders in any case. Anything of worth down this way? Yeah, this is like one long uh, pathway down this way, so I assume I'll be able to find something. Yeah, I don't want the dress though. Uh... Oh shoot, I guess I have to wait a second because... Down this way? Yeah, I guess I could try down here. Yeah, there's two of them here. That works. There we go. Now we just run right out of here, basically. <laughs> Okay. You're back. Did you manage to deal with our dwarven problem? Well done. Another menace successfully overcome. I love it when that happens. Can I have the resonators? I want to examine them. Maybe I can figure out a way to craft a defense against the constructs in case something like this happens again. Sure, go ahead and give them to you. What do you want? Now let's see how this goes outside. I can't 
believe you brought Omelor out for us. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. So, he's under the impression he's been rescued. We'll have to correct that. I appreciate your help. Though when we're done with him, I doubt Omelor will be very happy. All right. And that finishes this area off. So our next spot's going to be Mournhold over here. As you can see to the south, we really have not been through this area at all, so going to be interesting. Okay, I just got knocked off. <laughs> yeah, we can already see Mornhold from over here. I think the road is back off this way, I assume. Oh, a lore book. To me before entering Mournhold, citizen. Welcome to Mournhold, capital city of the Ebonheart Pact. We track all visitors. Upon arrival, everyone must see a registrar who will record your name and business in Mournhold. Thank you for your cooperation. The Shan has become a chaotic, dangerous place. Why shouldn't we instill a degree of order in our most prominent city? A little inconvenience is a small price to pay for your continued safety, citizen. Speak with Registrar Revel in the city center. Take the stairs up to the central building and you should find him in the courtyard there. Do not dally. It is illegal to enter Mournhold without being registered. Alright, so they have some pretty serious stuff going on there, it seems. Looks like they have a quest off this way somewhere. I know you want to help. Hail, I am Rigert the Brash. I lead our glorious expedition for North Cultural Exchange to the Dark Elves. Excuse, please. The proper term for puny ones is Dunmer. Small, I mean, uh, uh, not puny. Must remember, talk slower and louder. If, let me start over. I am Rigert. We are brand new diplomats, here to learn about Dark Elf way of life and spread word about our glorious North culture. Such knowledgeing will strengthen our alliance. Badly. Registrar makes us wait by this giant smelly toadstool while our gifts of culture, art, and religion gather dust. How about you take these gifts for us? Trade them for dark elf stuff. We need books, clothes, and relics. Sounds like Thank a fair trade. We're helping our glorious expedition for Nord Cultural Exchange. Hopefully, the Registrar will call soon. In the meantime, I have leads on where you can take items for trade. Ha! Good joke. 
Rigard can't wait to use it on the Dark Elf Ambassador. Now, which glorious item can I tell you about? Dark Elf dress is so fancy. I heard of Taylor in Mournhold's crafting district named Irila Malaron. Give her our gift of Nord traditional garb. She'll be so impressed, she'll give us nice Dunmer clothes in return. The little Greyskins mentioned a place with a great library. Shada Stula. They're sure to appreciate our book. Maybe trade for a book on Dark Elf culture and customs. That would be most excellent. That is a top-notch cultural relic. The heart of the wild. Take it to the monastery called Muthnar. Give it to monks as offering. But make sure to get a good Dark Elf relic in return. Thanks. And remember to speak loudly. You're a deputy envoy of Nord culture now. Nice. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to the uh, registrar person. Well, we got another quest over here we can pick up. Over here, you have the look of someone who deals in golden blood. We seek to right an injustice, but we can't do it alone. Until the pact set us free, we were the property of the Volek family. Now the last of the Voleks has come to Morno. Help us get revenge for generations of slavery. Find Bettina Volek, lure her to her family's townhouse. Bring her there, and we will have our revenge. The Volek daughter can be found at the nearby inn. Look for her there. Each of the Voleks has been dealt with, one way or another. Bettina is the last of her line. Taste the breeze and I had an egg daughter. Eyes that glint. The Volex worked her to death. Their own daughter must pay for that crime. Ooh. Yeah, that does change things a bit. Ah, here they are. Word of the plague in the west has reached Mournhold. We were told to watch for someone matching your description. It's good to have you in the city. Yes, of course. I have orders from the Tribunal Temple to register you and grant you access to the city immediately. The Sacred Lady, Armalexia, requests that you attend her in the temple at your earliest convenience. Yes, yes, I already said that. Weren't you listening? It's a rare honor to receive an audience with the Sacred Lady. You should go now and leave this lowly clerk to his duties. We can't all have appointments with the Divine. <laughs> Sounds a bit jealous. Anyways, let's first deal with these, uh... Why do I have a... Marker here? Okay, that was weird. Go ahead and get our uh, spot here. Very nice, very nice. Can you believe it? Dragons in your own homeland. What are you going to do? This one does not know, but he hopes his family is safe in Oh, my sweet love. Oh, this must be where the- oh yeah, this is for the other quest, okay. Greetings. Have you heard of the once great Volek family? I'm the last of my line. No, I suppose not. My family's been involved in things I'm not proud of. That's part of the reason I returned to Mournhold. I'm here to reclaim my family home. It's been sealed since my father died, when we fled the city for Vardenfell. I was so little then, but I promised I would return. 
My family kept Argonian slaves. They worked our salt rice plantation and were the source of our wealth and the cause of our doom. When the pack freed our slaves, they rose up and murdered my father. My mother and I fled. A shadow hangs over my family. My mother returned last year to claim our property. I never saw her again. She was murdered. I'm sure of it. Now, I think someone is following me. I can handle myself, but I'm still worried. All right. Frankly, I'd welcome your company. The family townhouse is nearby. I'll meet you there. Oh, what's this? Quama Shipment Manifest. Welcome to the Flaming Axe. <coughs> Our fire pit adds a level of entertainment. Yeah, I guess mine's worse than you. This place is great. Welcome to the f Hmm. Alrighty. The A chicken in every cooking pot. It's more than a house. Okay, that's the chef. Fear not. I intend no mayhem. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping to buy the room that's here. Because I don't think it's that much. At least I'm fairly sure it was supposed to be here. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's like the place next door. No, it's definitely here. If I wasn't so drunk already, this would probably hurt a whole lot more. Me buy you a drink. There's a little book over here. Okay. I love this place. <laughs> okay, this is a spot, but where do I buy it from? That's the question. Can I go in here and buy it? <laughs> All right, let's see here. Now we own another place. I don't know why it's taking so long to load, huh?
Yeah, that works, I guess. Go ahead and deposit that. Why not? Probably be it to be honest. Just to give me a little bit of a something here. Okay, off this way. Thanks for meeting me here. I'm glad I don't have to face this alone. Well, let's see what's left of the old place. I see. You're in on it. I suppose there's no way around it then. Oh, she knew? Well, there goes that. Honestly, they just had the better, uh... They had the better story than her. Finally, the Volats have paid for their crimes, thanks to you. Thank you, stranger. With his dark act behind us, we can get on with our lives. No elves will own me or my family again. All right. Please, listen to me for just a moment. It's very important. Doom has come to Craglorn. The stars have vanished from the sky. Will no one listen? Will no one help? I'm an initiate in the Order of Stargazers. We study the stars and their influence on Tamriel. Not long ago, we noticed irregularities in three of the star signs. Shortly thereafter, strange armies overran Craglorn. One of our order, Hara, is leading our efforts to stop these attacks. But we are not warriors. This cart will take you to Belkarth in Craglorn, where you can speak to her personally. Please, help us. I'm not going to Craigalorn right now, so. Let's see what this person has to say for us. Fine raiment here. The finest in Mournhold. Hmm. I prefer gold. But what have you got? What's that odor? Have these ever been washed? 
Wait. This is baby mammoth fur. It's illegal to export it. You know, in the name of cultural exchange with our allies, I might have something to trade. Baby mammoth fur. The great house nobility will go mad for this. Here, take these display pieces. They were made with my experimental dyes. Makes the colors nice and vibrant. Well, she was pretty happy exchange. <laughs> It's pretty far. Where am I heading? I'll have to figure it out in a moment. I have to go all the way over here, apparently. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I'll just go ahead and go over there. The last stone we need is off this way. Yeah, it, must, it was just killed recently, I guess. Do we have a stone? That's the... I believe we have all three of them now. Yes, we do. Such terrible slaughter. I was so not ready for this. Tribunal, save us! Help. It's too late for that. We were caring for the afflicted when the very Ansu attacked us without warning. They killed everyone in the Muthna Monastery, and set everything on fire. They threw people into the flames. They're heathen Ashlanders outside the light and protection of the Tribunal. I can't bear to think about it anymore. If you really want to help, find Healer Senar. He's gathered a few of the survivors outside Muthna, away from the Veriansu patrols. All right. So I expected to jump into a quest line here, but we'll go ahead and do it. Be strong. Somebody has to do this. What? Oh, I thought you were one of the Ashlanders. I don't know if I can do this. My brothers and I made a pact to burn the very Ansu supplies. They killed our father when they attacked Muthna. I tried to imagine which crates I would burn, but don't think I can do it. I'm not the violent type. I know, but I can't go back to my brothers if the supplies aren't burned. I have a torch, but I'm not a fighter. You seem bold. If you got in and set fire to their supplies, could you do that? 
You could meet me north of Muthnar later. All right. Well, sure, if they're just gonna put all the supplies right here. Goodbye, Western supplies. Oh, there. Buy south and supplies. Oh, I got the attention of a couple of them here. Sure, I'll take that. some plague going on here. Things are in some disarray. <laughs> Things are in some disarray here at the monastery. Did you need something important? I don't know what to tell you, stranger. Have you seen what's happening here? Did you bring arms and armor, or maybe some kindle pitch? We could use some Nord war supplies right about now. That's an animal heart, like from an ox. What am I supposed to do with a dried ox heart? Patience, patience. I suppose you want something in exchange for this. The three have taught us. Fulfill your rights and duties. Here, take this loaf of stale bread. Tell them it's the holy loaf of... Oh, I don't know. Make something up. Exaggerate. Nords like that. <laughs> the destruction. The loss of life. This slaughter was totally unnecessary. We were set upon by the very Ansu, a tribe of heathen Ashlanders. They attacked Muthnar, this place of healing and refuge, killing monks and afflicted alike. We're a simple order. We use the tear of St. Veloth to help those afflicted by the Lodos Plague. I gathered as many survivors as I could, but the very Ansu have taken captives. They tossed them into burning buildings. Our leader, Dolril Belvane, is still in there, searching for survivors and trying to protect the tear of St. Veloth. All right. I'm worried about Doril Belvane. Without his spiritual guidance in this time of tragedy, I fear our order will crumble. Still, he insists we must have the Tear of St. Veloth, and he could not bear to stand away while others suffer, so he remains in Muthnar. Veloth shed the Tear after he led the Kaima from Somerset to Morrowind. The artifact has the power to heal sicknesses. We haven't been able to cure the Lodos Plague, but the Tear can slow the speed at which the Plague ravages the afflicted. I don't know. They revere Veloth, call him the Prophet. They hate this plague and probably want the relic for themselves. But they disrupted our work, and now the plague husks are everywhere. Violent, unthinking monsters. Without our constant prayers to direct the power of the deer, many of the afflicted were suddenly overwhelmed by the plague, and they transformed into those creatures. All the time, if you must know. Doril is... unique. For the leader of a pacifist order of healers, Doril craves action. He can't help himself. He's attracted to trouble. 
and he always wants to do good. It's very confusing for the rest of us. <laughs> uh, there is something over here I want to get, it looks like. Anything I see faded out on my map, I usually want to try and grab. Especially these eye ones, because uh, they're usually not too hard to get, a, get to. Some type of new guar over there? I don't know what that is. The cottage is right over here, so... Oh, there's plague people here to deal with. Oh well. some gold out of that. Intricate. Take that. I don't know if there's anything worthwhile in this cottage, though. worthwhile here? I'd assume there'd be something in here just because of the uh, fact that it's here. Yeah, I guess I'm not that lucky. Ooh. Dear Sauron, I fear the plague is foul, man. I shall miss you, my love. Ida. Oh, it looks like Ida didn't uh, make it out. Guess we'll head back the way we came. Ooh, there's a chest here. like this chest though, come on. I'm no good with the chest. I don't know why it is, but I just can't break these things. Or break them open, I mean. Anyways, I think this will be a good stopping point for this video. Next time we'll be heading to this uh, village here that's overrun, and we'll be finding, we'll be doing the quest there. Then probably returning to Mournhold. So I'll see you guys then.